though, you learn a little something new yeah. every day, Jason. That's pretty Laird. ingenious. I got to give them credit there. All I can think of is you remember those like air bomb toys that were like the big barrel on yep. the thing? You always pop yep. them at each other. That'd yeah. be fun. That, that thing would be fun to play with. Me of, I, I mean, they, they have important <laughs> they have important things to move through later, but you know. Somebody's I feel walking, like a lot of baked bean jokes would be had around Somebody's this. walking down the hallway, you just turn, turn that thing on. Who knows what the expressions could be? Well, exactly, right? Could be rather interesting, <laughs> right? Well, no sound waves in the forecast, but quite a big change Sunday morning as we take you over and show you what's cooking right now. Area of high pressure built over the Four Corners region. That's kept a lot of that North Pacific moisture well to our north and directing it around the region. Now, that ridge is going to flatten out slightly over the next few days. And notice we're allowing a little bit of moisture into the northwestern corner of the state right now. Likely going to see a few light showers into the northwestern mountain ranges this evening. Eastern Colorado should stay very dry tonight. But the big story again, besides the nice warm temperatures, with those nice warm temperatures come some pretty windy conditions. 64 degrees is what we're looking at right now in Colorado Springs. 64 in Pueblo. A few low 60s in eastern Colorado. It is still March, right? Yeah. And we are, what, 10, 15 at night, and we're still well into the 60s out there. But again, wind is going to be the big story. Currently, not too bad. About 8 miles an hour in Colorado Springs, 16 in Pueblo, and right at about 14 to 16 in La Junta and Lamar. However, the driving force behind these winds, a cold front that's going to enter into the region late tonight into tomorrow morning. Again, you just saw the effects of that in the northwestern corner of the state kicking off a little bit of moisture. The heaviest impact with this weak cold front is going to be very, very windy conditions tomorrow morning. So as you're heading out to breakfast or church, cold front's going to slide through the region. Likely going to see gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Notice, not a lot of cloud cover, not a lot of moisture with this system. It's primarily going to be wind. We'll likely see a few isolated showers into the high terrain, but overall, Sunday is going to be a nice day once those temperatures finally warm up. Check out the temperatures, though. 60s tomorrow, a little bit cooler than what we saw today, but still very comfortable. 60 degrees in Colorado Springs, 68 in Pueblo, and pushing the 70s in eastern Colorado. Taking you out still further in advance to your extended sky cast on Monday. Going to start out with a mostly clear day. Temperatures right on track with staying fairly mild as well. We'll see a little bit of South Pacific moisture move into the region, though. So likely the sand grays, the wet mountains going to see a dose of showers moving throughout the area. I don't suspect much of that is going to move its way north. However, I did keep a slight chance of precipitation in the forecast for Monday and Tuesday due to that South Pacific moisture. So Sunday, windy. That is the take home message. A little bit cooler as well. Slight chance of moisture moves in Monday, Tuesday, and then we're going to mellow out those temperatures slightly. We are tracking a weak disturbance Thursday and Friday. Right now, it doesn't look to be carrying any moisture, but that very well could change. So we'll keep you up to date on that. I don't suspect any of that moisture Monday or Tuesday is going to make its way into Pueblo. Should stay fairly dry there with the temperatures nearing 80 degrees by Tuesday. 60s to follow as we see a little increased cloud cover there. Canyon City looking at about oh, 64 degrees with the 70s to follow. A little bit cooler though by Friday at a 57, but the real nice thing is overnight lows much more mild. Even in the mountains staying above freezing, a little bit of that moisture going to kick off tonight into Sunday morning, obviously, once that cold front moves through. So the big story here is very, very windy conditions tomorrow. As we saw today, it really does not take much to kick off a fire. So with those winds, just keep that in mind and be careful. So we saw a lot of those folks cleaning up around uh, the Pikes Peak International Raceway earlier exactly. too because there have been concerns there as well. And really, yep. and yeah, we saw that tonight, unfortunately. Yep. Can kick off really quickly. Well, hopefully we'll be lucky over the next couple yeah, days. Definitely. All right, Jason, thanks a lot.